Welcome to another edition of Smart Chat. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing to this channel. If you haven't done so, please do so right now. Check out my other channel, The Tom Brand One, my Twitter, The Tom Brand One, or Smart Chat, which is uh, also my other Twitter, which is more of sports related tweets. Do want to do a baseball video? Um, and it's in regards to Pete Rose. Pete Rose is uh, petitioning, lobbying for him to have a second chance, or rather, to start anew and hopefully have his lifetime ban revoked. With the lifetime ban, lifetime ban revoked, his hopes is that he will be allowed the opportunity to be voted into the Hall of Fame. Now, if he will be voted into the Hall of Fame by the writers, that's a whole different other subject topic. Will he be uh, treated as, a, as you know, um, a veteran vote? Uh, will it be a special circumstance? Uh, will it be just someone that was finally uh, granted eligibility? Kind of like you have players now after their time of being X amount of years in retirement. But that's a whole nother story. The first step, obviously, is for him to be reinstated. And the current commissioner, at least, is willing to uh, give it a listen. Now, Pete Rose. Pete Rose. And this is my thoughts. Pete Rose, I think... Um, Let's be honest with each other. Pete Rose for 15 years, 15 years, denied, denied, denied until he finally came out with the truth and said that he did bet on baseball. Now, he bet uh, for his team, not against his team. Uh, he, bet his, he bet for his team to win numerous of times and... As you can imagine, he lost numerous of times, tons of money. He never betted against his team, um, you know, betted for his team. Uh, one exception was he never used to bet when there was a certain pitcher from his team. I forget who the pitcher was, uh, but he never betted in that situation. Obviously, he did not have a lot of faith in that pitcher. Now, one golden rule, whenever you go into a locker room, you shall not bet on baseball. You shall not bet on baseball. Which is what he did. It's almost, it's different if you're a player, because the player, if a player bets on baseball, it's almost like you only, as the player, control the situation. If you're a manager, like Pete Rose was when he was found, uh, cheating, uh, betting on baseball, he was a manager, which is risky, deadly, because he controls all the players on his team. He was found, however, again, to bet for his team, not against his team. Believe me, back in those days in the 80s, if baseball was able to uncover it, they would have made mention of it. They were out to get Pete Rose. One might argue that Pete Rose is maybe even what caused the then commissioner to pass away from a heart attack. Pete Rose has been almost a mockery of him not being able to get into baseball. He, on Hall of Fame week, is outside of the gates. Remember, he cannot go through the gates. He's outside of the gates signing autographs. He makes commercials about him not being in the Hall of Fame. Uh, kind of a, a parody of him not being in the Hall of Fame. A parody of himself. Now, should Pete Rose be allowed in baseball? Yes. I think his saving grace is the fact that he betted for his team, not against his team. And there are a lot more, you know, other situations far worse than what Pete Rose did. 
Uh, you look at steroid, steroids right now. There's another argument that players that did steroids should be allowed into a Hall of Fame. Who do you know who did steroids? It's hard to, you know, be 100% positive. Even people that were found never to do steroids, never made mention, now have the cast of doubt. Case in point. But Pete Rose, as a player, was a standout player. Just as a manager is where uh, it went wrong for him. Now, if Pete Rose is allowed into the Hall of Fame. I don't think he should ever be uh, a manager again because of his addiction. This time, who knows? He could be voting against this team. Voting against this team might cause you know, great damage to the players that he has on that team as far as being a manager. But what he could contribute, you know, is maybe having clinics for up-and-coming players, hitting clinics, be a pillar, be a beacon to the game, be a role model, be an ambassador to the game. Even at this day and age, kids, you know, mid-teens, 20s, they know who Pete Rose is. At the end of the day, based on, you know, steroid era, compare that with Pete Rose, he never cheated. He just betted against this team. His fault is that he has an addiction. But compared to the day and age now, Pete Rose should be in the Hall of Fame. Granted, it should have been coming clean, should have been years and years ago. Is it too late? Who knows? Just my opinion. I think Pete Rose should be allowed in the Hall of Fame, just never around the game in a coaching capacity. Uh, let him in. Let him in. Until next time.